Hi, Joe Palmer here. Today I wanted to talk to you about a topic that just recently came in the news, another government uh, goal, which I think is nothing more than really than a government edict, that by 2030 they want to have at least 50% of all the vehicles sold in the United States to be electric powered. Folks, there's a lot wrong. There's a lot wrong with our government and this is one of them. Let's just look at this from a practical sense. How many people are going to be able to afford a $67,000 vehicle, let alone the $1,000 or whatever it costs to put a charging station in your garage? It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Where is the power going to come from to charge all of these vehicles? I mean, right now, our grid system is stretched out to the max. And not to digress, but if you looked at the news, they're talking of this artificial intelligence is taking so much power and using so much water because the computers that they use to generate this artificial uh, intelligence, they run so hot, they got to be cooled. And the only way they're cooling them is through water. You know, and where's the water coming from? I mean, you know, this whole thing, nobody is thinking anymore. It's just, like, oh, wow, we're going to have electric vehicles. They don't pollute. Well, let's go back to the food chain on an electric battery. Where do you think it comes from? Our good solid ally, China. And where do they get it from? They're mining it in third world countries, and they're using slaves. They're using little kids to mine this stuff. There's no OSHA in some of these mines. And believe me, there's no OSHA in China. But that's over there. That's not here. We're going to reduce our carbon footprint. The United States already is the lowest producing carbon footprint in the world. So where does our pollution come from anyway? I'm going to I'll digress a little bit on that too. Go on a map, look at the jet stream, see that the jet stream goes over China, who's building new coal plants almost every week. And guess what? That wind, the jet stream picks up that stuff out of China, blows it over to us. So much for pollution, carbon footprints. Same thing with India, another one of our strong allies. So anyway, you get your battery out of China. No big deal. China's now talking about doing something with Taiwan. You know where 90% of our chips come from? That's right. Taiwan. Years ago, the United States gave all of our chip building equipment, our sourcing all came from Taiwan. We wanted to build up the Taiwanese government. Nothing wrong with that. I've been to Taiwan many times. They're great people, love the United States, and they really hate China. It's not going to be nice when stuff happens over there. But I digress. Yeah. What happens when the car goes bad and you want to get a new car, you got to get rid of the battery. Well, they're not recyclable. And you're not going to bury them out in Utah. You're not going to find a cave in Nevada to put them in. No, you're going to put them on a container. You're going to ship them over to some third world country like they are now. They're going to bury them. And you know what happens when that battery begins to deteriorate? It leaches all of those chemicals into the groundwater. And guess what? Those people get sick. And guess who they're going to come back to and say, you got to help us clean up this mess. Yeah. Nobody talks about that. They just say, wow, we're going to get electric vehicles and we're not going to pollute. Where are you going to get the electricity? California already rations electricity. They got brownouts running up and down the state. What are you going to do for a grid system? Like in Atlanta. When it gets hot during the summer and everybody's cranking up the air conditioners, oh, by the way, we got to charge 50,000 electric cars at once. Folks, there's a problem. And something that no one, no one in the government has ever brought up 
is what happens when somebody, and somebody will, finds an alternative source of power aside from an electric battery. You know, like hydrogen. Toyota is already developing vehicles that will run on something other than an electric battery. So what's going to happen? Are we going to have to develop a whole new grid system? What's going to happen to the trillions of dollars that we pump into this stupid, stupid system of having everybody driving around in an electric car when somebody else comes out with a far more economical, far more renew renewable source of power for a vehicle? Like gasoline. These are things I just wanted to throw out there and mention. Google them. Take a look. What are your thoughts? I'm just giving my view. I think, one, the government stepped too much into it this go around. I think that some people in Washington need to be looked at as to where, there are where are their investments going that they're really pushing this electric car thing. And I guess the other thing is start looking, just Google alternate sources of power like hydrogen. You know? What's to say you can't have a solar powered car? Ooh. Anyway, I hope I've given you some food for thought, some things that maybe will get your blood pressure up a little bit, but uh, something to think about. I hope you all have a great day. I hope you have a great week coming up. Stay well, stay safe, and God bless.